The people in South Kurdofan, they are dealing with traditional mechanisms to solve their problems. Uh, we had uh, a very effective mechanism which you call a judia. A judia, it is a mediation committee composed of uh, elder people and um, uh, respected people and most influential people. The solution of a judia is based on four steps. Yeah? First one, uh, when the judia contact with each party and bring them together, uh, the first thing it is uh, acknowledgement by the perpetrator two trail of perpetrator three forgiveness four compensation for the victims it is uh, really it is combination between uh, retributive justice and restorative justice, but it's based on a uh, consensual process. Uh, the war uh, lasted in South Kordofan for more than two decades and caused many, many destructions and increased poverty, uh, affected the social Co the peaceful social coexistence between different um, tribes and after the election the war re-erupted again due to the differences between SPLM and the government over the result of the uh, election but I think now uh, all the people of South Kordofan they have one voice they need peace and reject war no party will win the battle militarily so they have to sit down but i think uh, the first thing that there are two uh, things they should be uh, happening immediately uh, the stoppage of war and hostilities and the uh, access of humanitarian assistance to the needy uh, people in war affected uh, areas so in this concern uh, i think uh, we have to put more pressure more pressure, I mean the NGOs to put more pressure on the government and also on the SPLM and we need also the international community uh, to, 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 to involve in, in order to speed up the process of peace and in order to, 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 to convince the government to allow NGOs to provide assistance to the needy people there. Generally, in my belief, anyone who commit who committed a crime in Darfur or elsewhere should be held accountable. Should be held accountable because we need justice and no peace without justice. But I think even now, even the ICC or the African Union they are not uh, serious about to do something out uh, to do something uh, towards the perpetrators so uh, i don't care about icc or uh, any other court but what i what i would like to say justice must be seen done regardless of the status of anyone